We're down here on the South Fork of the Eel River, one of the most beautiful streams in California, and we have a weir that we built to manage an invasive fish in this river. Pikemen are a native fish to a lot of California streams, um, but they're not native to the Eel River. They were introduced in, in the late 1970s, uh, probably through a bait bucket into Lake Pillsbury, and since then they've spread throughout the whole basin, and they uh, affect our native fish in several different ways. They eat almost every native fish in the basin. Uh, they can grow large enough to eat all the juvenile salmon and, and suckers and lamprey, but they also affect them by competition and then by altering their behavior, we think. Oh, oh look at that. We learned uh, that pike minnow migrate. Uh, they don't like to be in the upper headwaters of the river when it's cold and, and fast and wet in the wintertime, so they'll swim downstream. And uh, we've done some acoustic telemetry to actually figure out you know, the extent of their migration. And what we learned is that the place we are here, which is about halfway up the South Fork, seems to be a hinge point where a lot of these fish migrate in the winter out. And then in the spring, they turn around and come back upstream on a foraging migration, but there's also potentially for spawning as well. And so this location we are is really ideal in terms of most of the animals in the winter are downstream of this, we think. And so we can prevent them from migrating upstream, which will segregate half of the, of the watershed and really the prime juvenile rearing habitat. Uh, you know, most of the tributaries that are producing a lot of juveniles are upstream of us. And so they can come out, hopefully, if we can keep pike minnow out of this uh, part of the river and they can use that main stem habitat in a way they haven't been able to in, in, in a couple decades. Weirs have been used for, well, they've been used for thousands of years by indigenous people all around the world. You know, weir technology is 15, 20,000 years old or maybe older. And what we have here is just a modern version of, of ancient technology. But for fisheries monitoring, they've typically been used to count upstream migrating adult fish, you know, a, a salmon. And so a weir essentially is a floating fence. Uh, it prevents the, the fish from migrating freely through the channel. They have to move through either a trap box or a video box, or depending on how your weir is configured. So in our case, we have a, a downstream passage chute that allows free, free passage of kelp, a steelhead that have already spawned and are, and are moving down the river. But fish that are moving back up the river um, have to go through our, into, into a trap box and we can then uh, identify whether or not they're an invasive fish, a pike minnow, and, and we can remove it, or if they're a native fish, then we can release them upstream. While the primary purpose is to manage pike minnow, and that's how we were funded to do this, we, you know, anytime you have a weir, you know, we're, we're fish scientists, we want to understand the, the population as well. So we have a video system in the weir that is counting, it's using a, a machine learning algorithm to actually count any fish that swim past the downstream passage chute. Basically how the thing works is there is constantly a camera recording over there facing uh, the downstream chute of a weir that is connected to a networking switch here, which uh, gives that power as well as allows it to transmit data to this computer here, um, which is very specialized to run artificial intelligence programs and a lot of parallel computing. And it is constantly observing frames coming in from that camera. And from there, it's trained specifically to detect fish um, and later on, as we collect more and more data from there, it can actually identify species themselves. Um, so we can allow all of this to basically automate the enumeration of migrating uh, salmon and trout, whatever it might be. This weir project is, is being done in parallel with an acoustic telemetry study. And so what that means is we have receivers that we've placed all the way up the South Fork from the headwaters all the way down to the bottom of the South Fork and we're tagging juvenile salmon and observing their transit time and survival as they swim down the river. And we're doing that both above the weir and below the weir. So we're hoping to see an effect, right? And we're, what we're hoping to see is that we have higher survival, perhaps lower transit time, uh, more, more main stem use of the habitat above the weir in the absence of pike minnow, assuming the weir works effectively. And then potentially we'll see, you know, lower survival below the weir. And that will give us some inf information about how, how the animals are using the river and whether or not the weir is effective. So if we can increase smolt survival, increase smolt growth, which has a big effect on ocean survival, we think, um, and, and, and decrease pike minnow predation and, and, and interaction with the native fish, we, we were hopeful it can make a big difference. We've got a partnership with CDFW, the Weat Tribe, Caltrout, Stillwater Sciences, uh, McBain Associates, a number of local, local folks, and really the community. It really feels like a full community, you know, kind of effort to, to, to try this out, see if this experiment is a, an effective way to manage this fish. We kind of feel like um, if this does work, that it's something we can do again in subsequent years um, and, and keep it going really and as long as needed to, to benefit our native fish on the river.